Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vivom.com and we don't get a lot of budget Chromebooks in India so when the new HP Chromebook 11A arrived in our office I was actually excited because this Chromebook is priced at just 22,000 rupees. So is this Chromebook value for money and is it the budget Chromebook for students? Let's find out. First up, what's a Chromebook for and who is it aimed at? Well, Chromebooks aren't meant for heavy workloads and are mostly for students, you know, for online classes, coursework and note taking. Plus, obviously, you can use it for watching TV shows and movies, etc. So in this video, I will be considering three important aspects of this Chromebook, the multitasking performance, the battery life and what Chrome OS is, basically. Okay, so let's get this design out of the way because this is one of the few things that I have almost no issues with. See, I'm not a fan of blue colored laptops normally, but this Chromebook quickly grew on me and it actually looks quite good on my home office desk, so that's great. It's sturdy enough, extremely lightweight at just 1kg and it has a, well, passable selection of ports to go with it. There's a USB-C port, a micro SD slot and a headphone jack on one side and a single USB type A port on the other. There are no LAN ports on this Chromebook which means Wi-Fi is the only option you have here and the Chromebook 11A comes with Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5. Then there's the display. Now this is an affordable little Chromebook and it comes with an 11 inch screen with a resolution of 1366 by 768 and really thick bezels. Still this screen isn't bad really. In fact even with that low resolution it's still a decent display for normal use cases. I mean the colors are okay and the viewing angles are just about fine. Nothing special. It's a touch screen which is definitely a plus. The touch response is decent but I'm not entirely sold on it. I would have liked it more if it was a convertible Chromebook, I mean the touchscreen would have made more sense that way. Honestly, I was just using the trackpad to get around the UI most of the time. Now look, I told you I've been using this Chromebook as my daily driver and that's where most of my thoughts come from. For one thing, this is running Chrome, so it's definitely powerful, right? Jokes apart, the laptop comes with a MediaTek MT8183 processor that's paired with 4 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and 64 gigs of flash storage. Now do note that this here is an eMMC storage and not an SSD so yeah it's not the fastest storage you can find. Also yeah there's only 64 gigs of storage but the micro SD card slot can expand that with an additional 256 GB storage if you need that. Just something to remember. Even though the specs don't sound like anything special, in real world performance for the things you'd mostly do on a Chromebook this is actually fairly decent. I mean I've been using this a lot for browsing the internet, working on Google Docs and even taking meetings and it works perfectly for all these use cases without really lagging at all. In fact, let's put it to the test right now. So let's open Chrome here. Now let's create a meeting in Google Meet. Things look fine so far. Let me just open up Spotify here as well. And yeah, as you can see, the laptop is not lagging at all. Let's push it even further. I'm going to open a YouTube tab and play a video here. And let's also launch the Netflix app. Also as students, you will probably be using WhatsApp to chat with classmates and maybe even for submitting documents. So let's open WhatsApp web here as well. Plus Google Docs, you know, for taking notes. As you can see here, the HP Chromebook 11A can easily handle multitasking and will definitely be able to handle your workload for online classes and all. So yeah, that's nice. Also, since this is aimed at children, you know, for online classes and all, I also tested out Google Classroom and it can definitely handle that. So basically, it's got you covered for your kids' online education, which is definitely great. Plus, if you're thinking of getting this Chromebook for your young kids, you can use Google's family link service to enable parental controls here and ensure that your kids aren't exposed to violent or inappropriate content online. That's a pretty big deal, so it's nice to have this feature. Another thing kids will need for online classes is a webcam and the HP Chromebook 11A's webcam is actually fairly decent. So your kids can easily and comfortably take their online classes whether it's on Google Classrooms or any other online teaching service. Anyway, let me just quickly talk about the speakers as well. So the HP Chromebook 11A has a stereo speaker setup and if you look at the size of these speaker grills, they look quite big. But they sound just average. Can I be your superhero? I mean, you can hear it here, I guess, but on a bed with a fan on, forget about it. Sure, if you live the expensive life and only use your really silent AC, maybe it'll work, but not really. 
So as the name suggests, this laptop is running Chrome OS and if you're thinking of buying this laptop, you probably know what Chrome OS is all about. It's basically Chrome running your entire machine and you can install web apps as well like Spotify. Plus there's the Play Store so you get the wide selection of Android apps here as well which is all well and good. So you can install Netflix here or something like Instagram or even Facebook if you want. And yeah, there's Google Assistant for good measure. Basically, it's the Google ecosystem on your laptop complete with Google Apps, services and even the Play Store. Lastly, I want to talk about the battery here. The HP Chromebook 11A comes with a 37 watt hour battery and HP claims a battery life of up to 15 hours and 45 minutes. That's actually quite accurate as well. In my use, the laptop easily lasts well over 13 hours while watching videos and browsing the internet. Plus, the standby time is just excellent. In fact, I don't think I have shut this laptop down even once in the last week. It's just always on standby. I love it. To conclude things, the price of the HP Chromebook 11A is 22,000 rupees. And you must have noticed that this laptop has some really good things and then there are some okay things. But if you ask me, considering the price, the goods far outweigh the few quirks this laptop has. I mean, you get a good design, consistent performance and a really impressive battery life. The speakers aren't anything to write home about and yeah, it has eMMC storage instead of SSD. But like I said, at rupees 22,000, I think this is a nice little laptop that you can consider for online classes or for your kids online school. Well, those were my thoughts about the HP Chromebook 11A. But what do you think? Does this look like the budget Chromebook for students that you'd want to buy? Let us know in the comments. Also, give this video a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.